Good morning. This is Dwayne, and today I'm going to give you a little quiz. I'm going to play two scales, and I want you to tell me how they're related. At first glance, I don't seem to be related at all. One scale is the key of B, and I'll play it for you, the scale of B. And another scale is the key of D flat. Now how in the world can a flat key like D flat be related to a, to a sharp key like that? They seem to be totally unrelated. But, for example, the key of uh, B has five sharps, doesn't it? And the key of D flat has five flats, entirely different. Five flats against five sharps. So how could they be related? Well, the way in which they're related is that both of them use all the black keys. And they're the only two keys that use all the black keys, the only two scales that use all the black keys, aside from the enharmonic uh, scales, uh, such as the uh, enharmonic scale is a, a scale that has the same notes but has two names. That's the key of, that's the scale of F sharp I just played, but it's also called the scale of G flat. Okay, so those use all the black keys too. But <clears throat> they're in harmonic uh, scales, and we'll talk about those another time. But today we're talking about the key of B, the scale of B, which has five sharps, and the scale of D flat, which has five flats. Okay, that's what makes them sister scales. And they're easy to play in because you don't have to worry about what flats are being used or what sharps are being used. All of them are being used. All the black keys are being used in the key of D flat. The key of B. All the sharps are being used okay so that it's very very uh, easy because of that once you get they're not easy at first of course but once you get acquainted with them they're very easy because of that factor so those are the two sister scales that you should know about and sister keys and by knowing that it's easier to learn those uh, those keys that's my point okay we'll see you again tomorrow with another little tip about uh, piano playing or music theory and there's lots of good stuff over at playpiano.com. Be, be sure and sign up for my newsletter over there. Uh, just takes a second. And then uh, I'll send you all kinds of good stuff day by day about piano tips and uh, learn all kinds, of, all kinds of things about chords and progressions and so on. So I uh, hope to see you there. So we'll see you tomorrow with another idea. Bye-bye for now.